it's Michelle from Little Mama's House and I'm here today to show you a quick reveal slash tutorial on how I cleaned the Vachetta on my new to me vintage Speedy 30. So this bag looks pretty good now. It looks really good on camera. Better on camera than, than it does in person. But it looks pretty good in person too. Um, did not look like this when I opened it when it came. This is another eBay find and when this came in from Japan and I'm going to put uh, weave in some before and after so far so that you can see where we where we started with this. But when this came in from Japan and I opened it, the handles were very blackened. And you can't see it now, but um, underneath was almost completely black. And it's still a little bit dark. You see that in there. Um, but it was almost completely black. It looked dirty. Um, it didn't smell, thank goodness, but it looked dirty. And the, the uh, chats were a little bit dirty. As you can see, I haven't done my brass yet, so they're dirty. You could not even read the um, heat stamping over here. It does say Louis Vuitton Paris made in France on this one. This is a France bag. And now I can read it easily. It's still a little bit hard to pick up on screen. The pull tab was almost completely black. This actually was not too bad, but the rest of it was pretty in pretty rough shape. I did buy it because the canvas is perfect for a vintage Speedy that still kept its shape really, really well. I have a little bit of stuffing in here because I usually just stuff them to work with, but this bag stood up by itself. The inside was perfect. No rips, no stains, no smells. And let me just check here again because I can never, oops, what am I doing? Remember these off the top of my head, but this bag was from 1996. So it's a 20 year old bag and you know, it was showing its age. But as usual, I could tell, you know, sometimes I, like I say before, I go for the ugly bags because I know I can fix it. So I'm going to show you, um, and I'm going to show you, I'll explain what I use to sort of almost bring this vachetta back to life. It's not, it, it does have honey patina, but it's not dirty anymore. And it looks really good. I mean, this is a carryable bag <laughs> for, for 20 year old bag, bam. I mean, that's nice. So what I did to clean this was I used a product called Saddle Soap. And this this one is Kiwi brand. There's several, there we go, several different companies who make a saddle soap. This is the one that I could find at Target. It's cheap. I think it was six or seven dollars for this big can, and there's quite a bit in here. It's will it's hard to open. This will clean, as you can see, it's sort of like a soft, almost cream. And this will clean several bags. And this is one of the cleaning products that a lot of people suggest. I suggest it. Um, next time I'll show you how to do it with foaming soap, but this time I figured let me use the saddle soap because this bag was really super dirty and I feel like this just gets a little deeper clean. But this is what I used. And let me just explain something. A lot of people, and, and I had a comment on one of the bags that I dyed, that how could I dye a honey patina, right? So I just want to explain something. This, this, what it looks like now, this is honey patina. Okay, it's not super dark. But a lot of these bags and a lot of people mistake some of these vintage bags that have that blackened sort of look for patina. That's not patina, that's dark. Plain and simple. I mean, it, honey patina looks golden. It looks orange-ish as it gets darker. If the bag is blackened, that's not patina, that's dirt. You cannot remove patina, but you can remove dirt. So just, you know, as a word of caution, if your bag is actually patina, this is not going to lighten the patina on your bag. It will take off all the dirt over the patina that may be making it look darker, but it will not actually um, lighten your leather. So, you know, before anybody comments below that, you know, oh, I listened to Michelle and I did this and my leather is still dark, it's not going to lighten the leather. It's just going to take the dirt off. And the dirtier the bag, the lighter the leather will look at the end as a result. So this bag was filthy. The patina on this bag wasn't actually that dark, but it looked gross and dark um, because it was so filthy. So that being said, what I did is I you literally follow the instructions that are on the can. I take a wet little rag, and for this I just use, I actually cut up some of my husband's old work t-shirts when he's done with them, um, just like a cotton cloth, and this one's still a little... You can see all that was what came off yesterday because I've already cleaned this once. So you take um, a cotton cloth, you wet it. And obviously, at first, like I do with every single bag, I give it a wipe down with the baby wipes, the alcohol-free baby wipes, to get the leather a little bit damp. 
Now, if your bag comes in and the leather is completely dried out, touch it. I mean, feel it. You can tell. If, if you're a Louis fan, you can tell. If it looks dry, if it looks crumbly, if it looks cracked, condition your bag first before you clean it because the cleaning can dry it out a little bit. This bag was conditioned. It came, I could feel that they had, they had like slathered on some conditioner over all the dirt. I don't know, before they sent it out. I don't know why, but they did. So I could feel this bag was, wasn't in bad shape. It just was dirty. So I didn't, I skipped the first, if you will, conditioning that a lot of people would suggest to do. And I suggest to do it if your bag is dry. So when it came, I wiped it down with baby wipes. And then I took my cloth, my wet cloth, you dip it into the cream and work up a lather in the cloth. The instructions say work up a lather on the leather. I think it works better if you work up your lather in the cloth first. And then I say like this, look, your face is leather. I hate to say it, but it's leather. Okay, so like when you're washing your face, work up a lather and then you're gonna scrub your bag like you would wash your face. Just small little circular motions all over. And then as soon as you're done, wiping the soap all over the letter, and, th and that's what it is, it's soap, you'll see, you'll see the, the cloth is going to get gross. As soon as you're done with your wiping, you're going to take your baby wipes and remove all of the soap, just like with your face. If you leave a soap on your face and you don't rinse it off, your face is going to get dry. And the same will happen with your bag. So remove your soap after you wash it. Then I let the bag dry. I let it dry for a good four or five hours. And then I came back in with my Apple Care and gave it a really good conditioning. And I've now, at this point, let it sit overnight. So that's all I did with it yesterday. And so it actually, from one cleaning, it came out really, really nice, but I'm a perfectionist and there's still a couple of dark spots on the handle that I think are dirt and that I can get them a little bit lighter if I do one more coat. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it so that you can watch me do it. I know a lot of people, when I posted, I posted some pictures of this before and after last night. And when I posted them last night, a lot of people asked me to show a tutorial and I was like, well, I've already done it. So I decided I'll do, I'll do one more coat on camera so that you guys can see, see how I do it, not just hear how I do it. So I'm going to do that and then we'll go ahead. I'll let it dry out again. Um, it's early morning now. So I'll let it dry out again. And then in mid afternoon, I'll come back and I'll show you somebody, um, requested that I do a video on how I condition my bag. So this is a perfect opportunity. Once this is dried out, I'll show you how I condition it again with my Apple care. So again, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dip in here and I use a generous amount. It, it's sort of like a wax. So if you put it, if you can see there, see there's a glob of it on there. If you put it directly on the bag, it's going to glob up on the bag and be gross and you don't want that. So I work it into a good lather here. And um, if your washcloth has warm water, is wet with warm water, this works a little better, but I've been monologuing here now for too long. So I'm working it into a lather. You can sort of hear it lathering up. Okay, and it doesn't lather, it's not gonna puff up like uh, foaming hand soap would. You can sort of see the lather on the washcloth, but listen for the sound, you'll hear the bubbles on it. Okay, so now I have a nice lather. And on this bag, I'm just gonna go over the handles again. Um, though that was the spot that was the dirtiest, so I'm gonna just do the handles. And because I'm me, I can't do the handles without doing the chats. And look, I just rub it like I would rub my face. And as you can see, this bag looks clean and there's still stuff coming off. So I give it a good scrub and make sure if you see a spot that looks like it might be a particular dirty spot, I, you know, give that a little bit more attention. No. And when you're doing this, don't expect the bag to look light immediately. It's actually going to look darker. And when you see when I hold up this handle, see, it looks darker. Don't panic. That's normal. You're applying water to your bag, and it is leather. Just try to work evenly so that you don't end up with, like, if I do this handle, you have to do that handle. Otherwise, this handle is going to look different. So work symmetrically. Work evenly. I did the whole bag, but, you know, I don't need to do the piping again. So I'm not going to do the piping again right now because it's, it's, it, that's as light as I'm going to get it. Um, and the piping is also a little bit trickier. I usually sort of wrap my cloth around just one finger, dip, and then... It's a pain in the ass, so I'm not going to do that again because it doesn't really need it and I don't really want to. So, and again, this is up to you how far you take this. You could clean condition, clean condition, and, and do this for like three days and really get every last speck of dirt off your bag and, you know, 
maybe it'll come out super light, maybe maybe it won't. Not It's not going to give you the same result on every bag. You could do this on your bag and you might not get yours as light as this, or you could do it and it could come out looking brand new. It just it depends on the bag because that patina, like I said, that's really underneath all the dirt, isn't going to change. If the bag is patina, it's going to still be patina. It's just going to be clean. <laughs> so anyway, do it to to your preference of how much you want to get off. Like, this is going to be the last one I'm doing on this because it's already, it looks good. I don't want it to look fake or I don't want it to look not not like a 20-year-old bag because it's a 20-year-old bag. If I wanted a new bag, I'd go buy a new bag. But I wanted a vintage bag. So, you know, I don't want to lose its character. I just don't want it to be filthy and to look black and nasty. So, um, this will be the last cleaning I do. But do as many as it takes just make sure you condition between and do as many as it takes till you get it looking how you want it. Okay, so I've done this handle up. I'm just going to now do the chats on this side. And that's all you really do. You sort of rub it just like you rubbed your face or your body in the shower. I mean, it's, it's, it's leather. So it's skin. There's no other way to put it. It's skin. So you treat it like you would treat your skin. Rub it gently but firmly. I usually try to do a circular motion. I don't scrape at it. Certainly don't use your fingernails or anything inside your cloth because that could damage it. But, you know, rub it briskly. And here, I'll try to turn it a little bit. This chat had like a little spot on it, which I'm sure you can't see in the camera, but I'll show you um, in the close-ups when I do the before and afters. You'll, you'll see this particular chat was the one with the big spot on it. So I'm just giving it another good rub down to see if I can get any more of that spot out because I'm me and I can still tell it's there. I know you can't see it on camera, but trust me, it's there. Um, it's very, very light now. It's not gone. So I just give it a good scrub and you can see there's the dirt all coming off still. I mean, sometimes like if you're OCD like I am, you could scrub this until nothing came off <laughs> and you could. It would take you a week, but you could. Um, so I usually have to like tell myself you need to stop or I'll, I'll post the bag and everybody says, oh, that looks so good. And I'll be like, all right, I'll stop. Everybody else thinks it's good. So, uh, you can just keep going with this until, until you get every last bit off. But I think that's personal preference. So, and if I do the chats, I do the top of the, each chat. Okay. And then, um, I'm going to do the hang tag one more time. Now, when I got this, you couldn't, like I said, you couldn't even read that it said Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. So, I was so happy when I, after the first cleaning, when that came, I mean, I could tell it was there. I could see it. I knew what it said, but it was super hard to read. Like, you couldn't really see it in the picture. And when I post a picture, you'll see, you, you'll see what I mean. Now, now it looks fantastic. Okay, so that's it for that side. And now I'm just going to, like I said, take my regular old alcohol-free baby wipes and clean off the soap. You do not want to leave that on there because that will cause you to get some cracking. And some people say, oh, well, I cleaned, I cleaned my vachetta and it cracked immediately. Well, that could be for two reasons. One, you didn't, your bag wasn't in good shape condition-wise when you got it and it was already dried out to start with and the soap was sort of like the nail in the coffin, which is why I said if your bag comes and it feels like it needs it, give it a conditioning first. Um, it won't hurt it to condition it first. So that could be one. Or number two could be that you didn't cl thoroughly clean off whatever soap you used. And just like with your face, again, too much soap left on the bag is going to going to dry it out. Because this, you know, it's going to take... Yeah. Oh, thank you. Look what's inside the tomato. Oh, my favorite. It's a tomato sandwich. Thank you. Can you go wipe your nose, please? Mm -hmm. I apologize. Um, just, just like with skin, if you leave that soap on, it's going to dry out. So I'm just thoroughly removing any last trace of soap. You also want to try not to over wet your bag. I mean, it looks, it looks wet here. You can see, see how dark it is because it's wet. Um, don't over wet it. So now this is it. I will let this dry before I put anything else wet on it because over wetting your bag even if you get all the soap off, you over wet your bag and you set it out to dry, 
wetting and drying is what causes leather eventually over time to crack. So if you start with not so great shaped leather and you get it super soaked and then you leave it out to dry and you don't get all the soap off, it's just a recipe for your bag cracking. So again, take it slow. There's no rush. There's no, it doesn't matter if it's clean today or if it's clean tomorrow, it's gonna get cleaned, but there's no reason to do another coat on this until this is dried and conditioned. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish up the other side and then I'm gonna set my bag um, over in my front room, just where it's a little bit um, warmer at this time of day so that it will dry. And then as soon as I get home, I'm going out um, now. And then as soon as I get home in a couple of hours, I will show you how I condition the bag so that you can see. Um, I don't want to condition it yet when it's so wet. So I'm just going to let it dry and then I'll condition it uh, when I'm back. Hi guys, I'm back from the gym and I let my bag dry for a couple of hours. It's not completely 100% dried, but it's dried enough now that I can apply my conditioner. And this is just how I condition my bag. I take some cotton balls. There's really not much to it. It's sort of just like a very quick process. So anyway, I take my cotton balls, I squirt on a little bit of the conditioner, and then I literally just slather it all over and then rub it in. I mean, there's really not a lot of technique. Um, you can condition canvas. Sometimes I suggest conditioning canvas. If the canvas is starting to get um, stiffened, just um, you know, add a little bit more when you get to the next part. And you literally just sort of spread it around, rub it in. There's not much to it. And I go a little bit heavy on the handles. And again, today, I, I did condition the bag yesterday um, when I finished its first cleaning. And so today when I recleaned it, I only did the handles and the chats, the um, side tabs. So I'm just going to recondition those parts because the rest of the bag doesn't really need it. But I literally just rub my cotton swab all over the leather. I don't leave any clumps on there. And when I need more, I just, um, you don't want to overdo it and then have it like dry is like a resin sort of sticky clump on your bag. So um, this is the part of the handle right here that I usually condition the most thoroughly because that's the part that your skin touches the most. That's the part that gets the dry, most dried out. And when, when and if it starts to crack, that's a lot of times on Speedy where you see it cracking. So that's just where I apply the heaviest layer. And again, um, Especially with like Apple Care, I know some conditioners, people who use um, Cadillac or use the Love in My bag, Bags will say that it actually, sometimes they feel it makes their Vachetta lighter. I don't think Apple Care does that. I don't really think any conditioner does that. It's probably just cleaning off some dirt. But it will look darker when you first apply it. Again, don't panic. That's just because it's wet. And as it... As it dries, it'll lighten back up. So now I'm just gonna do this side. And like this, again, if you get it on the bag, on the canvas, just rub it into the canvas. It's not gonna hurt your canvas. It's actually good for your canvas. So I just do the same thing on this side. Rub it on. Give an extra little dab to that one area of the handle. And really, that's it. So if you were to do the whole bag, I would go down, do the piping again with this, not worrying that if it gets on the canvas, I just sort of massage it into the canvas. And then if it leaves a film on the canvas, you can just gently um, wipe that, either buff it out with an, a dry so rag. So what's up white and you pick some? Maybe it's just a wet paint. Where? Huh. What is that? Maybe it's just red paint. I wonder what it could be. Oh, the Grinch. What is he here to take? Your computer. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. The Grinch is going to take my computer, so I better get going. So um, I just oh, pick that up, please. 
I will just take. go ahead and let this dry. We're going back out. Mommy, and I'll come Prince back is in. gonna take your son. A Prince is gonna take a cotton. That's silly. I'm just gonna let this dry another couple hours, and I'll be back to show you um, once it's all dried dried up. A Prince is gonna steal your Leather came out. All right, guys, I am back. It is now late afternoon and my bag has dried from its conditioning. So as you can see, I got a little bit even more dirt off of it than it was when we started today. Um, complete total transformation from when I bought it. I'm going to show you all the signs. There's the um, heat stamp. And I did, I polished up my brass. I did my zipper. And there's my pull tab. Back side and... Now you can barely even tell, but this thing, yeah, this, this was the chat that had the big, huge stain on it. If you look back through the video at the before pictures, that chat had like a big black sort of mark on it. Um, turns out it was just dirt, it came right off. And then I've gone ahead also, and I have put one of my LaRouche Co. organizers in, this one specifically for the Speedy 30, which I love. It gives the bag a nice shape with no sagging, droopy bottom, um, because the 30, the organizer she makes for the 30 has like a little PVC insert in the bottom, which just gives it that extra bit of rigidity you need for the, for the 30. So here I have it. This was another eBay find. I did spend a little more upfront on this bag. Normally I like to keep it, you know, if I'm looking for a vintage bag, I like to keep it under 200, preferably under 150 if I can. But for this bag, I paid 259, which for a Speedy 30 is still really, really cheap. And the reason I upped my budget, sort of, sorry, I always do that. The reason I upped my budget a little bit for this particular bag is because I knew I wanted a bag that I was going to restore so that I could use with its natural vachetta as, as opposed to a bag, bag that I was um, going to dye. And so a little bit, bit more money up front made sure that I picked a bag that even though the vachetta was really dark and blackened, it was in excellent shape. There's no cracks, there's no rips, there's no like curling with the exception of a little bit on the hang tab, which doesn't bother me at all. Um, nothing was torn, nothing was missing in the bag. So I spent a little bit more than I normally would, still barely anything for Speedy, and by cleaning it, I'm sure I've increased its value um, even higher than, obviously, the $250 that I paid for it. So um, that being said, I'm just going to quickly show it to you on. And this bag is a little bit bigger. Usually I carry a 25, and this bag is slightly bigger. I'm really short. I'm under five feet. I said that before. So this bag is a little bit, a little bit bigger on me. I'm sorry I'm in sweats because the weather is weird here today. But um, the bag is a little bit big on me, but I sort of like that I can fit a little bit more in it than a 25. And it still has that cute speedy look. I love crook of the arm bags. So um, this is going to be um, really well used and in fact I did buy this with the intent of using this currently as my everyday bag so that's why all my stuff's in it as I showed you with the organizer but there you go that is how I restored the machetta on my pre-loved speedy 30 using saddle soap so any questions please feel free to comment below a couple housekeeping things I do uh, a lot of people have been asking me I do take custom dyeing orders or even custom restoration orders if you have a bag and the leather is starting to look really garbagey I do um, take orders to do that but I take it through um, my Etsy shop so that's the absolute best way to contact me and I'll link that below so that anybody looking to get a quote for their bag can just message me through there and then I'll work with you that way rather than trying to coordinate through replying back and forth to YouTube messages. Um, so it's uh, littlemamashouse.etsy.com is the web link. And again, I'll put that below so that you can contact me there if need be. I also started a Facebook group for fans of dyed, restored, or rehabbed Louis Vuitton items. And I will also post the link in case anybody is interested in joining there. There's a lot of fun facts, a lot of tips, a lot of restoration um, experts, a lot of women who 
die bags on there, buying, selling, giving tips, giving advice. So it's a great resource for those of you looking to try this yourself on one of your bags rather than obviously having somebody else do it for you. I, I always like to try to post my tips and hints so that you can try to do it yourself because really that's, that's the whole point in trying to get a really good deal on it is that it's something you can fix up by yourself. So as always, please uh, remember to subscribe. I have some more videos coming your way later this week and thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.